Rain lashed against the windows. Thunder roared, shaking the very foundations of the house. The wind howled like a restless spirit, making the trees outside sway violently. The storm was relentless, a force of nature that demanded respect and caution. It was a night to stay inside, to seek comfort in the warmth and safety of one's home. The cozy interior provided a stark contrast to the chaos outside, a sanctuary from the storm's fury. The flickering light of a fireplace added a touch of warmth to the otherwise dark and gloomy night. Evan, a loving father and husband, was home alone. The quiet of the house was both a comfort and a reminder of his family's absence. He missed the laughter of his child and the comforting presence of his wife. The storm outside mirrored the turmoil he felt within, a mix of loneliness and longing. His wife and child were away for the weekend, visiting relatives in a nearby town. The house felt emptier without them, their absence palpable in every room. Family photos on the wall served as a reminder of happier times, moments filled with love and togetherness. He worked on his designs, the storm a dramatic backdrop to his creativity. The sound of rain and thunder provided an unusual but inspiring soundtrack to his work. Each stroke of his pen seemed to echo the rhythm of the storm, a dance between man and nature. Evan's peaceful night was shattered by a sudden, loud noise. It was as if the storm had found a way inside, breaking the silence with its ferocity. He jumped, his heart racing, the unexpected sound pulling him out of his creative trance. A knock came at the door, hesitant yet urgent. It was unusual for anyone to visit at this hour, especially in such weather. The sound was almost drowned out by the storm, but it was persistent, demanding attention. Two young women stood outside, drenched and seeking shelter. Their clothes clung to their bodies, soaked through by the relentless rain. They looked cold, desperate and in need of help. Their eyes pleaded with him, silently asking for refuge from the storm. He felt sorry for them, their plight tugging at his heartstrings. He knew the dangers of the storm and couldn't in good conscience leave them outside. His mind raced with thoughts of what to do, but his heart had already made the decision. He opened his door, an act of kindness he would regret. The warmth of his home spilled out into the cold night, welcoming the strangers in. Little did he know, this simple gesture would change the course of his night, and perhaps his life, forever. Evan, a kind soul, couldn't turn them away. He invited the women inside. They introduced themselves as Belle and Genesis. He offered them dry clothes and towels. He made them hot tea, a small comfort on such a night. Belle and Genesis seemed grateful. They chatted with Evan. They laughed and told stories. Evan felt good helping those in need. He had no idea what awaited him. As the storm raged outside, Belle and Genesis settled in. They seemed to grow more comfortable. Evan felt a shift in their demeanor. Their playful banter became suggestive. Their glances turned seductive. Evan, though initially oblivious, began to sense danger. Their innocent facade was crumbling. He started to feel uneasy, trapped in his own home. His act of kindness was turning into a nightmare. Evan, though uncomfortable, didn't want to seem rude. He tried to steer the conversation. He talked about his wife and child. He showed them pictures, hoping to remind them of his commitment. His attempts were futile. Belle and Genesis were relentless. They dismissed his talk about family. They continued their advances. Evan felt fear creep in, a knot tightening in his stomach. He had made a terrible mistake. Section 5. Seduction's Trap The night spiraled further. Belle and Genesis turned bolder. They touched his arm, their voices husky whispers. Evan tried to resist, but their allure was strong. Evan, a good man at heart, found himself tempted. His morals battled with the seductive trap laid before him. His fear was palpable, yet he seemed powerless to escape the situation. Section 6. Peril's Grip The storm outside mirrored the turmoil inside Evan's home. The once serene and orderly space was now a chaotic mess with furniture overturned and personal belongings scattered everywhere. The destruction inside was a stark reflection of the emotional and psychological storm brewing within. Belle and Genesis turned aggressive. Their eyes, once filled with charm and allure, now burned with a menacing intensity. The air was thick with tension as they confronted Evan, their intentions no longer masked by the facade of seduction. They wanted more than just a night of seduction. Their desires ran deeper, darker, and more dangerous. 
The playful banter and flirtatious glances had given way to a serious and threatening confrontation. Evan could feel the weight of their expectations pressing down on him. They wanted to play a dangerous game, a game where the stakes were high and the consequences could be dire. It was a game of power, control and dominance, and Evan was caught in the middle, unsure of the rules and terrified of the outcome. Evan, now terrified, realized the gravity of his situation. The initial thrill and excitement had evaporated, replaced by a cold, hard fear. He could see the determination in Bell and Genesis's eyes, and he knew that they would stop at nothing to get what they wanted. These women were not damsels in distress. They were strong, empowered, and in complete control. They moved with a confidence and purpose that left no room for doubt. Evan was no longer the one calling the shots. He was at their mercy. They were predators, toying with their prey. Their eyes gleamed with a predatory intensity, and their movements were calculated and deliberate. Evan felt like a mouse caught in the claws of a cat, helpless and vulnerable. His kindness had blinded him to the peril that lurked beneath the surface. He had been so eager to please, so willing to trust, that he had ignored the warning signs. Now, as he stood in the wreckage of his home, he realized the true cost of his naivety. The storm outside was nothing compared to the tempest within. Section 7. Evan's Breakdown The night became a blur of fear and confusion. Bell and Genesis tormented Evan, both physically and emotionally. He pleaded with them, begged them to stop. Evan, once a strong and confident man, was reduced to a whimpering mess. The weight of his mistake crushed him. He was trapped, a prisoner in his own home. Section 8. The Tables Turn Just when Evan felt all hope was lost, a glimmer of light. His wife called, her voice a lifeline. Bell and Genesis panicked. Their game was exposed. Evan saw his chance. He fought back, fueled by adrenaline and fear. He managed to call for help, his voice shaking with desperation. The tables had turned. Section 9. Facing the consequences. The police arrived, sirens wailing. Bell and Genesis, their reign of terror over, were apprehended. Evan, bruised and broken, could only watch in numb silence. Evan's nightmare was over, but the scars remained. He had to face his wife, explain the unexplainable. The guilt and shame were overwhelming. He had betrayed his family's trust. Section 10. A changed man. Life after that night was never the same. Evan's marriage crumbled under the weight of his betrayal. His wife, unable to forgive, took their child and left. Evan was left to pick up the pieces of his shattered life. He was a changed man haunted by the memory of that night. The kindness he once embraced had morphed into a source of deep regret. Section 11. Knock, knock, who's there? Fear. The knock at the door that stormy night became a constant echo in Evan's mind. It was a sound that resonated deep within his soul, a sound that he could never forget. The rain poured down in torrents, and the thunder roared like an angry beast, but it was the knock that truly terrified him. It was a reminder of that fateful night, a night that changed everything. It was a reminder of his vulnerability, his naivete. Evan had always considered himself a strong and independent person, but that night revealed a different side of him. He felt exposed, like a raw nerve, and the fear gnawed at him relentlessly. He couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, of being hunted. It was as if the shadows themselves were closing in on him, suffocating him with their presence. He had learned a brutal lesson about trust, seduction, and the potential for evil lurking beneath a deceptive facade. The woman who had knocked on his door that night had seemed so innocent, so harmless. But her smile, once seductive, had turned sinister in an instant. She had lured him into a trap, and he had fallen for it completely. The betrayal cut deep, leaving scars that would never fully heal. The experience left an indelible mark. Evan's eyes, once full of life and curiosity, now held a haunted look. He couldn't escape the memories, the nightmares that plagued him every night. The fear was always there, lurking just beneath the surface, ready to pounce at any moment. It was a constant battle to keep it at bay, to maintain some semblance of normalcy. The world, once a place of warmth and light, now seemed shrouded in shadows. The neighborhood that had once been his sanctuary now felt like a prison. The familiar streets and houses were now filled with dark corners and hidden dangers. The sunlight that used to bring him joy now seemed harsh and unforgiving. The shadows crept in, slowly but surely, consuming everything in their path. 
Every knock at the door, once a welcoming sound, now sent shivers down his spine. Knock, knock, who's there? The question echoed in his mind, a constant reminder of his fear. He couldn't help but flinch every time he heard it, his heart racing and his palms sweating. The simple act of answering the door had become a terrifying ordeal, one that he dreaded with every fiber of his being. Fear. Fear was always there, a constant companion. It followed him everywhere, a dark shadow that he could never escape. It whispered in his ear, reminding him of his vulnerability, his helplessness. It was a weight that he carried with him every day, a burden that he couldn't put down. But despite the fear, despite the pain, Evan knew that he had to keep going. He had to find a way to overcome it, to reclaim his life from the darkness that threatened to consume him.